Hello everybody! Um, today I want to start a bit of a series about um, some autistic traits um, both that yeah that I that I know that I exhibit my most prominent autistic traits and then just also to offer that for people who are um, not as <clears throat> informed um, about what autism looks like, or if you sus 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 suspect that you have autism, or that you're someone that you, um, your loved one, or whatever. I don't know. My videos have never been formulaic, so this is this is sort of a hail mary. <laughs> um, but so, and these videos are we will be shorter. I'm gonna try to make them shorter. But today I want to talk about raptor hands. That's a very um, that's a very uh, classic autistic trait um, it's, a, it's a classic trait among some among people with developmental disabilities or um, that kind of thing and um, is actually one of the first signs that I exhibited as a child um, that tipped my, my mother my birth mother off you know and later on as I was researching through when I first had my diagnosis, uh, was one of the really one of the staple confirmations, um, just for me. You know, before the age of two or three, um, and just kind of all throughout my childhood that I did that. Um, and what raptor hands raptor hands are, or um, is sometimes called T Rex hands too. It's kind of this um, sort of lax wrist, uh, the way of holding arms and hands. And uh, I did that a lot. Um, I was hardly ever not, you know, in the raptor hand position. And um, I remember, I remember doing this, and uh, I do it now too. And um, I wanted to like offer some insight as to why, why do people do that, or at least why I do that. Um, I don't, you know, I can't speak for everybody um, on the spectrum, you know, because everybody's different, but at least this is why I do it, so I don't know. Um, if, if you if you do if you have a reason for doing it or, or whatever or you relate to this like by all means comment because I think it'd be really cool to know who else kind of has a specific reason but um, for me it's not a conscious reason um, I should clarify it's uh, something that I've figured out um, after the fact but for me one of the common issues with autism and like sensory issues is um, I can't feel where my body is in space. Um, I can't feel like my limbs if they aren't touching something else. Um, that's why I wear the fingerless gloves a lot, uh, because it's more comfortable to have something tangible and tactile on my hands so that I can feel it on my skin and just be aware of where my hands are and where my arms are. Um, I don't like wearing short sleeves, hardly ever. Um, just like the same reason I like to have stuff touching my skin, because otherwise I can't... It's like I, I feel like if I don't have something touching my skin, um, like I feel like I'm expanding and filling the space. I can't, it's really hard to explain. It's like I don't have skin. It's like I just kind of exist endlessly into the space and having stuff touching my skin makes me feel, um, you know, makes me feel my limbs and, and where, where I start and where I stop in the, uh, in the space. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, but the raptor hands for me, something I've noticed is um, because of that, because I can't feel my body in space um, and it's uncomfortable, I'm, I'm much more comfortable and you'll find me a lot. If you spend time with me, you'll see that I do, um, I touch my myself a lot. Um, I'm always got like, sometimes my arms are like this, I, you know, you'll see my videos, I'm always like that <laughs> because it's comfortable for me to have my my limbs pulled in to be as like, everything touching everything is possible so that I can feel my body. Um, so I'm commonly like this, I'm commonly like touching myself. And so the raptor hands thing is kind of just an extension of that where it's it's just a, um, it's a, a uh, sort of a secondary effect of the fact that I pull my elbows in. I'll show you, sorry for the shaking, but I pull my elbows in to my sides like this a lot because it's more comfortable to feel my, you know, to feel my, 
body with my limbs, it's it's uncomfortable to have my limbs out because I'm extending onto the space and that's already an, an uncomfortable sensation for me. I like to be pulled in, I like to be as small as possible so I can feel as much of me as possible. And so it's a pulling my elbows in and so sort of just the natural uh, positioning of my wrists and my hands is to kind of go like that um, because that's just how they are relaxed when my elbows are pulled into my body. And so I think that you'll see that a lot um, in people who do do the raptor hands thing. Um, it is a, is a uh, sort of a, um, sort of just a secondary symptom of the fact that really what's happening is that the arms and the elbows are pulled in and the wrists are relaxed. Um, and that's just kind of the natural position they fall into. Um, so it's a comfort thing. It's a, it's a, um, it's, a it's a sensory thing, I think. Um, it's very common for people with autism and sensory processing disorder to have that feeling of, of not being able to feel their bodies in space, not being able to feel where they start and where they stop, where their skin ends and the space begins. Um, so it's uncomfortable, it is. Um, it's really hard to explain the sensation of feeling like I can't differentiate between my body and and the the... I keep using the same word, I'm sorry, but I can't differentiate. Um, so it's just a, a matter of feeling like, um, you know, feeling like I, I need to feel my body to feel where I am. It's almost a, um, you know, if you know much about dissociation, um, it's almost a, <laughs> it's just a uh, case in point. It's almost a um, dissociation similar because this dissociation is sort of this um, separation from self idealization depersonalization so it's like if you if you've experienced dissociation sort of that it is a dis discomfort it's an uncomfortable kind of odd thing to feel um, so it's similar to that and it's just not comfortable um, it's also like yeah and I'm kind of along with that um, for me um, this is a little weird, quirky thing about me, and I don't know how common it is, but I can feel that, that sort of extending into the space feeling. If I, like, start to gain weight, and my, my, more than I'm used to, if I, like, gain weight quickly, and the, the difference in my body, um, like, <laughs> I explain it, like, I, I, I don't like the feeling of, of extending out beyond my bones. So like if I gain a whole bunch of weight and and where I can feel internally like my my internal like body structure my bones is is farther off from where my skin is ending this is really strange um, it's uncomfortable to me and I can I can feel my body change when that happens when I lose or when I gain weight I'm very very sensitive to that because it's uncomfortable when I'm out and not in so it's a it's a comfort thing to feel my body feel just so that I can be um, just aware of where I am and, and, and that kind of thing where I am in relation to other things and to other people you'll see a lot of people with autism they have uh, issues with with maybe personal space and I think one of the reasons for that is just a lack of awareness of our own bodies, where they are in relation to other people and to objects. I'm very, very clumsy. I bump into things all the time. Bruises like on my hip bones and my legs all the time because I'm bumping into things because I don't, because I lack that spatial awareness of where my body is in relation to other things in my environment. So I am much more comfortable and I end up with less, you know, nicks and bruises when I am pulled in and I can feel where I am. Um, when I'm walking around or like when I cross, when I pass by people, um, Always. It's like this instinctive thing to go like this or to, you know, like do this when I'm walking past people. And I think that's just sort of like an instinctual response to feel where my body is so I'm not running into them. That kind of thing. So yeah, quick quick thing about that, raptor hands. Um, you know, if you see someone doing that, you know, um, that's, that's just why I do it. I have not asked anybody else, but if you, you do do raptor hands, I mean, you know, if you relate to that, share because I'm really interested to hear other people's explanations. But that's just a quick, uh, quick little thing. And, uh, right. So, 
I need to think of a better ending and a beginning for my videos. Bear with me. Um, stay classy, skim freely, and I'll catch you next time.